what's up guys welcome back to the channel we're here in my ram 3500 of course it's a tradesman edition so what do we have plain simple rubber steering wheel which is fine it doesn't bother me to have a leather it's not heated or cooled so no big deal but the thing i hate about this thing is there's no steering wheel controls so i added a nice new radio the 8.4 inch and I have no controls, so I have to, if you're on an app or you're on a radio station, you want to change the station and you're driving and changing gears, you, it's just hard. So what we're going to do today is we're going to upgrade. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to go to Buddy Mine's shop and we're going to upgrade this thing right here. So this is a new steering wheel. It was cheaper to buy one used and buy the bezel and it already had the steering wheel controls, which is what I'm missing really good shape i think i have 100 bucks in this so we're gonna go head over there right now and add it since most tradesmen's slts some they all have this plain just cheap steering wheel so we'll upgrade that and i'll take you guys for a ride along and head over to the shop dealership of course i said dealership because he does work for ram and this will be the first time that this truck has made it to the dealership since i bought it last year in january so it's not time for an oil change yet it's not time for really any maintenance we're just going to upgrade the steering wheel and see what we can get into i think Wasted no time. Got here in the shop and he's already started tearing this thing apart. He's taking this cover off. It's got two torques that are screwed into the bottom. And he's using a mirror to see the back side of the steering wheel so he can release this airbag. And normally I'd attempt to do something like this on my own, but <laughs> I'm not trying to mess up this clock spring and screw this whole steering wheel up. So we're going to let him do this. I'll show you once he gets it unclipped and how to unclip the airbag and then how to release the steering wheel and then we'll put this new one in there just like that uses a clip and I'll unpull this. this airbag sensor the power to it It's 
not too bad. Especially when you're not doing it. You can just watch. So, just got the airbag off. This is what it looks like. It's got a couple clips that hold it on those three. That's what you use the mirror to release. He's got a little pick that he picks with the mirror to see it. And then in here, I release that clock spring and basically just take that wheel off, put this new one on and put it right back together. So it looks like we're going to have to use a steering wheel puller or any type of puller. He's going to put it on there and tighten it down. It'll pull this right off the, how oh, it's been torqued down, it won't release itself. So we'll get that steering wheel puller and pull this thing off. So you got the right tools. It makes things a lot easier. And he does this for a living, so he's got every feature of tool for a ram across their product even though there's obviously none in here because they never tear up <laughs> so, All right, so if this was a ford dealership you know this thing would be lined up so you already got everything set on this one right mm -hmm. All you do is plug it up. yep that's how it came i just changed the bezel so that's pretty sweet. so like so pull this one put it on there and line it back up where it was and tighten it back down and we'll install the airbag and horn back and put the shroud around the column that should be about it so I can steer one bolt it back up I'm just gonna install this airbag and horn it's really just two clips that clip in the back. Can't mess that up. And then the horn assembly will just snap back into the wheel how the clips attach it. It's a lot easier going back together than it is taking apart. <laughs> oh yeah, it works. And then the only thing that's left is cover on the column. And he probably set a new record with changing the signal. <laughs> That's pretty much it, guys. As easy as that. And looks a lot nicer than this nasty rubber, plain looking steering wheel. So now I've got the look of a limited or Laramie for hundred bucks. Alrighty guys, just back down to here. I'm gonna head home. Got this new steering wheel on here. It's kind of getting dark out, so it's kind of hard to see, but it was as simple as that. Just a couple bolts. Having the right tools, cheap upgrade, really nice. It's nice to have that silver satin trim too. And if you'll see here, the, it does work. So we won't play any Christmas music for you guys right now. And we'll head home, edit this video and get this thing posted up for you guys. If you've not been here before, please like that button. I know this video is more for random people, but I'm pretty sure this thing goes the same as Chevrolet and other makes. If you buy a lower tier truck, as this one is a tradesman, you can make it your own. That's why I bought this truck, is I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted this color, first of all, but I wanted this truck, make it my own. Of course, there's not much left. I've done the gauges, which is out of a gas truck. Got rid of the def gauge. I did the 8.4 inch screen. Now we've done the steering wheel with the controls and next we'll probably do some amp steps and we'll probably add the cat skin leather or another brand and go from there you don't have to buy the loaded out truck that's an extra 20 grand especially when there's a certain color that you want so if you've not been here before please hit that like button subscribe we'll get you guys next time on another youtube video 
I appreciate it.